The album title, love. The album cover, love. I'm so excited. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Beth if you are new here and I like to talk about music. Today I'm going to be listening to the most recent album from Avril Lavigne. It is called Love Sucks with an X. I love the title. There's just something I love so much about the album cover. The album cover is reminding me of Isaac Dunbar. It is reminding me of NF. There's something about balloons on album covers that always catch my attention. So just a quick little recap on my background with Avril Lavigne. I have not heard all of her music. I have heard her big singles and her big hits, you know, complicated, etc. And I have heard her Head Above Water album. I actually really enjoyed that album. I'm just, I'm so excited to jump right into this album. Without further ado, let's get into the first track. It is called Cannonball. Like a yes. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to pause, but I have to say, I am ready for some angry energy today in my music. It has been a minute since I've listened to an album that has angry energy in it. And that is just so wrong to me. <laughs> I need regular rage in my music, so. <laughs> I just deleted every memory from inside my head. I loved that lyric. She's so so ready to be savage in this album and I'm so ready for the savage energy. Yes. Yes. This is so reminiscent of her old music, is it not? I love this. It's like very 90s punk rock. It just ended like, I like that. That was so much fun. Very reminiscent of like 90s punk rock music. I didn't really listen to a lot of punk rock back in my day, but um, <laughs> I sound like I'm 80. How is she gonna go from head above water to that? <laughs> like how are you gonna do that 180? But I'm here for it, Avril. The next song I'm so excited for, if you've watched any of my videos, you know, there's something about the word boy in a song that I'm just immediately drawn to. Like, I have no idea why. And so, boys lie. Oh, I'm so excited. Because <laughs> boys do lie. And B-O-I-S, I just love that. I just, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, yes. This sounds like the music in the beginning of like a 90s movie. You know when they're setting the scene at the beginning of the movie and they pan over to the skyline of New York? This is the song that is playing in the background. I love this. Okay, bye. Make me Like their voices together a lot. Yes. I love a call and response, and this, like, this is this is the moment. I can't tell. Yes, I really, yeah, <laughs> I really enjoyed that song. I loved that it was a duet with Machine Gun Kelly. Their vibes are like the same. So I really think that they complemented one another well. I liked the switch up of the lyrics. It's not only boys that lie, it's also girls that lie as well. The next one is called Bite Me. <laughs> I just feel like she's gonna be bitter and angry and I'm here for that. And I also know this one was a single, so I'm very excited. I just, I'm living for the bitter energy 
energy right now. <laughs> like, I just, I needed this. I feel like I'm purging right now. I gotta go. This is giving me all the nostalgic 90s vibes and I'm really enjoying the sound of it. Okay. Who hurt her? The line forever and ever, you're gonna wish I was your wifey. I like it in the context of the song. It's kind of funny. It's kind of like tongue in cheek. She's making this really angry song, but she's also putting a line in there that's kind of just a little bit of a reprieve from the angry energy to lighten the mood. And I appreciate that. Thank you, Avril. <laughs> Yeah. That was the moment right there. That was it. Thank you, Avril. That was really all I needed. Yes. Bite me. Yes. I love how she cuts off the songs very abruptly. That is how you match the music to the vibe of the album. Because if she did a fade out, it would not have the same effect at all. I loved that song. That was so much fun. I loved the lyrics, just classic Avril. It sounded like the most classic Avril song I've heard in a while. I act as though I know all her music. <laughs> like I act as though I would know what a classic Avril song is, but I know that Head Above Water was very different from her normal sound. Head Above Water, the song was like a 180 from Complicated. This sounds like classic Avril. Like this sounds like bitter, cynical, 90s baby, skater boy, little Avril and I, I'm really enjoying this. I feel like I'm in the 90s. Another collab, okay. Talk again of another crush, don't rush. And how about you just take some blame? I always take all the pain. Oh, yes. Talk, call me, baby. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I love that so much. Don't call me baby. I love it when you hate me. That is so fun. Okay. I love it when you hate me. Wish you could erase me. Heard another fuck that I can give to you. Your heart's so cold, but I love the way you lie. And the red flags but with you, I'm fucking blind. Oh, yeah. Should have seen the red flags, but with you, I'm blind. At one point or another, I would guarantee anyone who's been in a relationship has ignored some sort of red flags. I know I have. And then it ends so abruptly again. Oof. That is an example of understanding the assignment. The next track, I'm very excited for it. It's the title track, Love Sucks. I mean, I'm always intrigued by title tracks because it's the title track for a reason, you know? Are we having fun yet? Yes. Cutting on my losses, you make me nauseous. <laughs> yeah. Wait. <laughs> I know it's such a small thing, but I have to point it out. The little yeah in the background after that verse was everything to me. See, this is the thing. The beauty's in the details. Like it's such a seemingly small thing, but it really stood out to me. You know what I mean? I don't know. But you were my best bet. Oh. I am exhausted. Literally, who hurt her? You're overrated. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. When the production went out as she finished off that chorus, why does love suck? 
Boom, that was the moment right there. This is so fun. This is like such angry 90s energy that I needed in my life. I can't relate personally to this album right now because I'm not like dating or anything. But if a boy comes around and that boy breaks my heart, this will be the album I turn to. I keep killing Cupid. Yes. production of this album is so, so cohesive. It sounds like one giant song. And I don't mean that all the songs sound the same. It sounds like one song because it's so cohesive. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Avril, I love you. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just love her, okay? I don't even know what to say, bro. That was so good. Ah, uh, I can't. What the? Okay. What is this? Avril! Oh my gosh, Avril freaking Levine, you little. I liked the verses of that song a lot. I also really enjoyed the ending part. I think the chorus will have to grow on me. It wasn't my favorite, it was okay, but I do think it'll grow on me with more time. I'm very curious about this next track. It is called Avalanche. It's reminding me of the song Avalanche by Walk the Moon, which is just a freaking masterpiece. Okay, wait, is this gonna be slow? I keep trying to make it to the end of the day. Oh my gosh. What do you do when the hero needs saving? Say that I'm just fine. actual hell. Yeah, some tears decided to make their way into my eyes when she said, I act like I'm okay, but I'm not. Cause like, girl. It's like I'm running from it all. <laughs> the lyrics and the vocals on this are reminding me of Head Above Water. Like this almost, almost sounds like a Head Above Water song. I feel too much, rushing. Tell the truth, but get interrupted. Ooh. Production. Oh, whoa. This is the freaking moment. The next track is Deja Vu, and I am thinking of the song by Olivia Rodrigo. Slow moment. Am I or not. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> yes. purge all my negative emotions and anger and bitterness to this song and to this album. Oh. 
It's giving I Forgot That You Existed by Taylor Swift. She's like, you know, you used to drive me crazy, but now I'm just over it and I'm just feeling nothing. Yeah, we've all been there. <laughs> just not really it for me at all. I feel like production wise it sounded exactly like a lot of the songs on the album. There was nothing really about it that stood out to me. You know it was kind of fun that she did the collab with the guy from Blink 182 but this doesn't even sound like her voice. It sounds like someone else singing. Okay, range. <laughs> Scared, it's terrifying. I wanna give up hope. Day this hard just to open up my heart. Mm. If you don't believe it. Ooh. If you dare to love me. Okay. Still shining. Okay. That was another one of my least favorites. That was just not really it for me. Like it didn't really go anywhere. There were a couple of moments in the song that I did really like, but overall as a song, it just felt kind of flat for me. We are on the last track. It's actually a really short one. It's only two minutes long and it's called Break of a Heartbreak. I'm so excited. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I love that title. Uh, come on, let's go. Again, okay. <laughs> Mad. We're bitter and we're loving it. Yes. Oh. Ooh, this album was fun. It was very like nostalgic punk rock vibes, which was so fun to relive. I just feel like this album is classic Avril, to be honest. There were a couple songs that were not standouts for me, for sure. But overall, I really enjoyed this album. I don't wish that I was heartbroken, but I almost do, just so I could like feel the lyrics more. Like I don't wish for a guy to break my heart or something, but if he did, I will be turning to this album. Um, I really enjoyed the production on a lot of the songs. By the end of the album, I will say they were kind of running together for me. Like a lot of the songs were kind of sounding the same, but that was just the last couple of tracks. Overall, I think it was really, really strong. Yeah, I don't know. I just love, I love her energy. I love her vibes. It's just such a cathartic album. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did make it to this point, feel free to like and subscribe if you want to support my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.